Hey guys, it's Tootsie and I'm here with another video for you and now this is the 50 questions you've never been asked. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I actually filmed this video back in December, like when I filmed, like if you remember a couple videos, I filmed about what I got for people for Christmas and online and stuff and stores. I filmed it that day, I filmed those videos and I had it, majority of it edited, probably 80% of it edited. And then I went to go continue to edit. Like I just like I kind of like I had a lot of it edited, but then like got busy. And I explained that like in, I explained all this like in a um an update video. I went to go back and start editing the video, and it was corrupted. So the video is gone. The edited video is gone. And so I wanted to come on here and film the video. Let's get into it. Now, I didn't, the only thing that sucks is that that video I filmed, like, I didn't even read the questions prior. I just read them off. So, I liked them. They were kind of like, so I ran them off the top of my head. But now, it's like, I kind of know what the questions are coming. So, it's a little sad, but I still want to do this video because I love question videos. It's kind of like question videos and hauls. Those are my two favorite videos to watch. So, that's what I want to do because that's my favorite way to watch. So, that's what I want to film. I love doing them. What is your favorite candle scent? Now, I've talked about this in the past. I love the smell of vanilla. It is so delicious. I just love the smell of vanilla. So good. What female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Now, in that first video, I said Demi Lovato. And I still stand by that with Demi Lovato because I've seen, like, interviews with her that, like, if you don't know about Demi Lovato, she's a singer. She was on Disney Channel and she was on a show. I know she was on Camp Rock. That was the movie. It was on two, both of those movies. And then she was on a show. I, oh, I can't remember what the show was called. But I know, like, they ended the show because she decided to leave Disney. Disney let her leave her contract because she was struggling with personal issues with herself, with personal mental issues here. I got, like, something attacking my eye. But um, I saw in interviews after she got better where she sometimes, she doesn't go out and party. She doesn't go out and party. She stays home. She watches movies. She, she you know, she, she goes on social media, you know, and she, like, she talked about how she stays home with the knits. And I'm a type of person where, I'm sorry, but there is just something, like, attacking my eye now. Okay, I think, I think I'm good. I'm sorry about that, like, interrupting here. Okay, but, um. I saw in a video, like, she just, she just says, like, people don't realize that I just go home and knit some nights. I don't go out and stuff. And I'm for profession, I don't really want to go out and party. I mean, I've, I've never been clubbing. I've never been to a big party. Like, I, I've been to, like, from, from friends' parties, but some of them are kind of quite small. And, um, some of the, like, when there, and some, and some of the bigger ones where there was a lot of people, I didn't really quite enjoy. It kind of just stuck with them, my really close friend, you know. So I'm not a big party person, so I think feel like that's why me and Demi Lovato would get get along well. But we could both just stay at home and not go out. We could just watch movies and play on our phones and do good crafty things if she wants to knit or do whatever, you know. That's what I feel. I feel like maybe, you know, we could just sit and talk, you know. Do things at home, you know. We don't have to go out to have fun. We can have fun right here at home. What male celebrity you wish was your brother? Now, you see, any male celebrity, you know, you like, you have like a... You want to crush on them, you know? I can't remember what I said in the first video, actually. I wanted to try to keep my answers, some of them the same, but, you know, but if I can't remember what they were. Like, Zach Efron, he's, he's just, he's just too, he's like a hunk, you know? He's just too hot now. I don't want him to be my brother. <laughs> oh, man, a celebrity you wish was your brother. And sorry if I'm playing with this. Maybe I should take it off, you know? So I don't, like play with it <laughs> okay um oh was my brother maybe can i have two of them probably dylan and cole sprouse because i love them growing up because i just saw them like as friends i didn't really see them like as dating people i just always saw them like oh my god it'd be so cool to play it'd be so not play it would be so cool to hang around with them and just do crazy shit it would be so much fun how old do you think you'll be when you get married well i am engaged i'm not wearing my ring right now so excuse me my fingers swell up that's why i'm not wearing my ring um i me and my fiance are hoping to get married next year in 2017 and so i will be 24 and i always kind of saw me get married around mid 8 mid 20 so like around 24 25 how do you know, oh, oh, not how, do you know a hoarder? When I watch the show Hoarders or Buried Alive, you know, I watch all those shows. Does like that count? Does that count? Hmm. 
Okay, can you do the splits? No, I cannot do the splits. I used to be able to do it when I was like 13, 14 for a short period of time. But, you know, it was because I was stretching a lot regularly. I got to regularly stretch like multiple times a day to be able to get that flexibility. But I can't do it no more. Okay. How old were you when you learned how to ride a bike? I had like a tricycle when I was like three up until I was like five. And then when I was five, I got a bike, but... My dad put training wheels on it so I could ride. And then when I was around 10, when I was around 8, no, like around 9, 10 years old, I got a bigger two-wheeler bike and my dad took the training wheels off and put them on that because I didn't feel like I was ready to go full out two-wheeler. I know I was old. I was an old person. I was not an old person. I was just, I know I was really older than when most people learn how to ride a two-wheeler. Um, and then... When I was around 13, 14, that's when my dad took the training wheels off and I tried and I learned actually how to ride a two wheeler. It took me a long time, it took me a while actually biking up and down the driveway to be able to get that balance, but I can do it now. So, I, so that is kind of like the history of my bikes, you know, because like when people say, How do you learn how to ride a bike? I mean, like, what do you mean, like, ride a bike? I mean, you start out small and then you go bigger. So, how many oceans have you swam in? I have swam in no oceans. The closest time I've been to an ocean was when I went to the state of Washington with a family trip and we were on the eastern side of the western, western side so that's the closest I've been to an ocean. How many countries have you been in? I haven't been in any countries. I haven't traveled outside the country. The closest I, the closest country I've been to is Canada. We were really close because we went like n north and there's like some type of waterfall. I, my, me and my mom and a few other family members went to go see, and I guess it's like one side is America, the other side is like Canada. So I've been close. I've never been in the country, but I've been close. Is anyone in your family in the military? As far as I know, everyone has been discharged. They are no longer like serving. I've had lots of family members who have served who were, but as far as I know, there is no one in the military or army like any more they they've all have ended they've all have retired they're all veterans so what would you name your daughter if you had one well it's kind of like a funny uh joke in my family that another name from me was gonna be for shelby and well my parents said not to go with that name it was kind of just like a kind of a joke thing because my dad loves cars and there is a car called the Shelby Mustang by Ford, and so that was just kind of like a joke to name me Shelby. But if I had a daughter, I don't know, I might name her that, you know, because it's just, because I do like that name, Shelby. And so we'll see. We'll see what happens. What would you name your son if you had one? Now, if I had a son, now, if I was a boy, the name for me was already... It was already chosen. Like, if I was a boy, my parents were going to name me Jeremiah. There wasn't any other names they were considering. They liked the name Jeremiah. They liked that name. That was going to be my name if I was a boy. So, if I I really liked that name, Jeremiah. So, if I have a son, hopefully I would be able to name him Jeremiah. But, you know, it's not just up to me. It's up to the father, too. It's up to my fiancé. You know, if we ever choose, if we, when, we, when we decide to have kids, you know, it's up to him, too. So... We'll see. We don't really talk about names too much. Kind of like jokingly, like, ha, 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 yeah. You know, do you like this name? Yeah, can we name our kid that? And it's just like, it's kind of joke-like, you know? What's the worst grade you got on test? F. I failed lots of tests. It's just, I was not a test taker. What was your favorite TV show when you were a child? When I was a child? No. When, I don't like this because it's just mean like overall. Like, do you mean... Overall, my whole childhood, and I know it's going to sound cheesy, was Arthur. Because I didn't, my family, we didn't have cable. We didn't have cable up until I was, like, in high school, up until I was, like, in 10th, 11th grade. So, like, from me, like, you know, one years old up until I was, like, almost 16, we didn't have cable. So, I didn't have Disney Channel. I didn't have Cook Tuck, Cart like, Cartoon Network. I didn't have, I didn't have Nickelodeon. So... I had, I got a few reruns from Nickelodeon and Disney Channel, like, on Saturday mornings. I got a few reruns, but that was about it. And so, but overall, 
it was Arthur. But like when you're talking about maybe like middle school, I loved Sweet Leather Zack and Cody because they played those reruns on Saturday mornings. I used to always wake up Saturday morning and make sure I watched it because it was so funny. I loved it. What did you dress up as Halloween when you were eight? When I was eight years old, that would make me in the fourth grade. And then I was kind of like a 70s hippie person. It was just a costume we went and picked out at the store because we were just trying to, we went to the store to figure out what should I be and then I like that one. It's in my size so that's what I was. Have you read any of the Harry Potter's Hunger Games and Twilight series? I had listened to the Harry Potter series on kind of like audible, well, I don't want to say audible, it was kind of like um like the library calls them, my library calls them soundtracks even though they're not songs they call them sound I listened to them when I was like in high school I got a look I, I I loved Harry Potter like the movies but you know I was a little late on reading them because I had like I had like reading issues which I've discussed in past videos I have reading issues and so I listened to them and I absolutely love them I'm, a, I'm actually wanting to I'm actually I actually started rereading the Harry Potter but reading them not actually listening to them I'm actually doing that right now because I my reading level is at a point where I can actually read them and understand what I'm reading without having to listen to it on a tape or anything. And um, with the Hunger Games, I listened to them at first on disc and then I read them afterwards. And so those are read. I have not listened to the Twilights or read the Twilights. I plan to, but it's just not high on my book reading list. And so yeah. Okay, would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? I'm an American. I talk an American accent right now. I want an American accent. Did your mother go to college? Yeah, my mom went to college for a little short time. Are your grandparents still married? Well, three of my grandparents are dead. And so they were still married when they died. So I guess you could say, yeah, they were married. doesn't know who Kermit the Frog is. What's the first amusement park you've been to? The first amusement park I've been to, there's a amusement, there's a mall called Mall of America. There's an amusement park in the middle of the mall. It is an amusement park. They, they I don't even know how many rides they have now because they've added so many. And so that was like, the, and when I was a kid, it was called Can't Snoopy. And then it was like the park at MOA for a short period of time and then it's and then Nickelodeon got a contract and I miss it I miss Camp Snoopy because what happened was Camp Snoopy lost a contract and they weren't able to renew it and so they were trying to say who's going to take over and I think it there was like a Disney and Nickelodeon fight but Nickelodeon got it so it's Nickelodeon universe right now but that was the first music park I've been to but we have like like we have like you know the state fair in Minnesota that they have like a amusement park there, and then they all we also have um what is what is it called what is it called Valley Fair Valley Fair that's like a permanent amusement park I can't remember where it is but it's not it's not too far from here I think it's like a forty five minute drive from here and it's it, it it's really expensive to get in there but there's a lot of rides and it's really fun I've been there too but. First amusement park is, you know, the, bar, the music park in Mall of America. I'm just probably going to call it Camp Snoopy because that's what, that, that, that's what it is to me. Uh, what language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? I would like to be fluent in German because I mainly am German. So I would like to know how to speak German. So maybe I could visit there one day and see where my most of my ancestors came from and be able to talk to people there. Do you spell the color gray? Gree? It's like a gray. Now this question I didn't understand because it's like, do you spell as G R E Y and then it's asking, or do you spell it G R A Y? It's me. It's G R A Y because it's gray. It's the color gray. Unless there's something about this question that I do not know about. Is your father bald? No, my father is not bald. Do you know triplets? I have. I don't think I've ever met some triplets. I've met plenty of like paternal twins and stuff, but I don't think I've met triplets. Maybe I have and I just don't remember. Okay. Do you prefer Titanic or the notebook? But I've seen I've seen the Titanic several times and but I have not seen the notebook from start to finish. I've only seen it from bits and parts. But I'll probably go with Titanic because I know it and I don't want to choose notebook not knowing, you know, if I fully like it or not. So I choose Titanic. Have 
you ever had Indian food? As far as I know, no. So, yeah. I'm kind of picky when it comes to trying new things because sometimes food is so expensive. These days, it's like a fast food restaurant. Food is so expensive when you go out to eat. It's like, I don't want to buy something and then find out I don't like it. And then now I'm sitting here hungry, not eating it. So I don't think I have tried Indian food. What's the name of your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant? Um, it was the Old Country Buffet. But they've, you know, things have changed the thing, you know. I think, like, with the Old Country Buffet, people don't realize that sometimes they're individually owned by management. So, Old Country Buffets, they're different from location to location. But as far, but as, far as I know, all the, all the Old Country Buffets in Minnesota have closed except for one. But it's, like, really far away, and I'm not going to drive that far. It's, like, over in two, it's, like, almost two hours, I think, or, like, an hour and 40 minutes, and I'm not going to drive that far. Have you ever been to Olive Garden? Yes, I've been to Olive Garden. I love Olive Garden. It's probably, like, my favorite restaurant now, other since, uh, since Old Country Buffet moved. Well, I don't know if you can hear that. My tummy's rumbling because we're talking about food here. It's hungry. Do you belong to any warehouse stores, Costco, BJ's, etc.? I do belong to a warehouse store. I belong to Sam's Club. It is Sam's Club kind of is like kind of owned by Walmart, but they're like a warehouse store. They're a big bulk store, and so yeah, so that's where I go. What would you? What would? What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? I actually answered this earlier in the title. Uh, earlier in the title. Earlier in the video about uh, naming my son, and I want to name him the same name. I was gonna get named was. Jeremiah mentioned that earlier. So yeah, that's what my parents would have named me if I was born the opposite gender. Jeremiah. Okay, um if you had have a nickname, what is it? My nickname is Tootsie on the internet. That's my nickname. Who's your favorite person in the world? My favorite person in the world? Well of course it's my fiance. He of course he's my favorite person in the world. I wanna be with him the rest of my life. So of course he's my favorite person in the world. Would you rather live in a rural area or the suburbs? I would rather live in the rural area. I don't want to live, like, in the city. Like, I lived in the suburbs my whole life, but I want to be... But when I... When my parents bought our house before they had me, like, when I was five, I could, like, look at the... I could walk to the end of the driveway, look one way, see houses, so that it was suburbs. And then I looked the other way, and it was rural area. It was open fields. All that stuff. So, and I love that area, the rural area, more than the suburbs. So, I want to live in a rural area because I want to be able to do whatever I want on my land. I want to, without people saying, oh, no, we can't do that, you can't do that, you, we don't like that, you know, without following rules and stuff, like in some, like in some like in some suburb areas where it's like, you know, oh, you only can have this type of fence, you only have this type of color house, only this kind of color door. I can't remember what those called or whatever they're called, you know, those areas of houses where you have to, you only can have certain things and all that type of stuff. And it's just, mm, 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 live in rural area, I can just do whatever I want. And you whistle. Yes, I can whistle. Oh, I kind of just woke up my cat there. He kind of went, what? <laughs> Question, do you sleep with a nightlight? I did for a short period of time, but I still don't. I, st I, I don't any I do not do it anymore. No. Do you eat breakfast every morning? Yes, I do eat breakfast. I do eat something. I don't eat like a large, huge breakfast. I maybe eat like a cheese stick, some toast, and a little bit of yogurt or granola bar. I just eat a little, little bit. Do you take any pills or medication daily? Um, well, like, I don't like this question when I first saw it because that's kind of personal. You should only be talking about this stuff, like, like, with your doctor. But I think I have mentioned in the past that I am on birth control to regulate my periods. And so, yeah. What medical conditions do you have? Now, I made a whole other video about that, about medical conditions I have. I'm not going to go in too in-depth. It's just that I have ADHD, I have dyslexia, and I have neurofibrosis. If I do remember... I'll link those videos down below, so if you do want to know about more about them, because I explain them for me, because if you go online and you research these things, you know, they're not going to give you the ones for me, because symptoms are so diverse for all three, and a lot of you may have heard of ADHD and dyslexia, but those symptoms are so diverse, and the one thing with neurofibrosis, that is very diverse, and most people don't know about it, and when you go online, you're going to see severe cases. I'm not a severe case, I'm a very low case, I'm a very low case, and so, yeah. If I can remember, I'll link it down below so you can go watch and hear my explanation of it.
How many times have you been in the, to the hospital? I, as far as I can remember, I've only been to the hospital twice when I had to get stitches twice because I know I talked about my scars in the past in another video and if I can remember, maybe I'll link that video down below so I can get more in depth instead of sitting here and talking for like 45 minutes long video. I don't want to do that, you know. Have you ever seen Finding Nemo? Yes, I saw Finding Nemo in theaters and there's a actually a funny story about this. In the movie Finding Now, Finding Nemo, you know, it's a family movie. All right, so in theaters, you know, a lot of I was probably like nine, ten years old when it went into theaters, and so I was there with my mom and my dad. I think my cousin, and so there's a lot of other families, there's a lot of moms and dads and with their kids and dads with their kids or moms with their kids. You know, a lot of families. When Dory says, "What is it with men asking for directions?" You know. Every single woman in that theater was laughing. Every single one. And I didn't know this, but my mom said later on the guy behind her, the the the, the kind of dad figure of the family behind us, the guy, he apparently he sat there and said, "It's not funny." And so that what made my mom laugh even more. She was laughing for so long because she heard him say that, like, it's not funny, you know, to what Finding Dory. No, I almost said Finding Dory. No, it's Finding Nemo. There is a Finding Dory. There is a movie out that has came. But when Dory said in Finding Nemo, what is it with men asking for directions? It was so funny. You know, the guy just like, it's not funny. And every single woman in the theater is just laughing. Where do you buy your jeans? I just buy my jeans from kind of any store if I need jeans stuff and I just pick a store like yeah let's go check out the jeans at that store and see how well they fit. I used to buy them from Debs a lot but Debs decided to close all their stores even though I still get emails for them. I was like I thought all the stores closed so how am I still getting emails so I don't know. What's the last compliment you got? I don't know. I don't remember. Probably what my fiance is saying how beautiful I am. Do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? Sometimes. I sometimes remember my dreams. Not usually. But it's just like. I don't ever want to like force myself awake. You know. And then start writing them down. Because I like to sleep. What flavor tea do you enjoy? I said this several times on my channel. I do not like tea. I do not like coffee. They're both just. Bleh. How many pairs of shoes do you currently own? I think it's like around 30 pairs. No. That seems too many. I know I did a shoe haul, but I think I've gotten a few more pairs and gotten rid of a few more pairs. I think that was around 30 pairs, so I'll just say around at 30. What religion were you raised, raised your children to practice? I am not going to force religion on my children. I'm going to teach them this is what mommy's family believes. This is what daddy's families believe. There's other, the, the, you know, there's other people that believe this, there's other people, I'm going to give them like a, kind of like a rough sketch, you know, of different religions and stuff, and tell them that you're a kid, you don't have to pick one, you know, if you want to go to church or go to other places, mom and dad will make it happen, and if you want to learn more, mom and dad will make it happen. But I don't want, but I'm going to teach them, I don't want you to threat. I'm going to teach them to be open-minded completely to other people's beliefs. I'm not going to force them to choose something. It says you don't have to make a decision right now. You don't ever have to make a decision in your life. I would tell them, like, mom is still, like, you know, back and forth with it sometimes, you know. So is your father. And I don't, I feel like as long as you're happy in your life, you know, I don't feel like you should have to focus on believing in something or not, whether you believe, like, do I believe this, do I not believe this, you know, as long as you're happy and living your life, I don't feel like it's something you should have to fret about, so that's what I'm going to teach my kids, and that that's what I choose, that's what, that's what I'm completely happy with, that's what I'm completely content with, and that's what my fiance is completely content, content with, because I explained this to him, this is what I want to do, and he's like, yes, yes, I'm with you 100%, we're on the same page with this. How old were you when you're found out oh that Santa wasn't real. I almost thought I thought it said Satan I was like what what kind of what it doesn't say Satan it said Santa wasn't real. I was like around eight years old but I was never really big into Santa so it wasn't like this huge shock to me it's just like me I was always kind of comfortable like how does this guy travel around the world and stuff and why do like other like if he travels around the world 
like, you know, but a lot of other people, you know, don't celebrate Christianity, and they, so to me, it was just confusing, I was kind of like, because uh, that's how my mom kind of raised me, like, kind of back to the religious thing, was kind of be open-minded to everybody, and teaching me a little bit about everyone, so it would be, I was a kid, it was kind of confusing, and so I was, like, around eight when I found out he wasn't real, like, around eight, okay, do you have a tumbler? I think I made one, but I never used it, so they probably, like, just deleted me because I never go on it. And so, I don't just say, no, I don't have a Tumblr. And so, that is it. That is the 50 questions you've never been asked. And this, is, and this video right now is, like, over 30 minutes long. And so, I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys like this video. I love question videos. I know it was super duper long. But they're like one of my favorite videos to watch is question videos and like hauls and stuff. And so if you guys like this video and you like question videos about people and you like random other stuff that I random other stuff, you know, check check out my channel, subscribe and check me out and see if you like me. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Tootsie2525, same way it's put down there. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!